Hello, this is Eitel Bob from Webscripto and today we are going to have a look at specific related products and more specifically how to set up the related pro products that will display when your visitors visit your website and view a specific product. We all know that when a potential customer visits our websites and views a specific product on the single product page, WooCommerce ensures that the visitor is also shown related products. Now, out of the box, WooCommerce uses your product categories and tags to display related products. In this way, a customer is shown possible related products for consideration. Let's consider for a moment that the visitor is viewing a product that falls into two different categories. For example, chocolates and Cadbury. If WooCommerce show related products that falls within the category um, of Cadbury, the visitor may be shown assorted sweets as related products and not chocolates itself. This will not be helpful if the visitor is interested in a chocolate. This is the time we control over which products are shown as related products will be very helpful. So let's have a look at how we can control which products are shown as related when a visitor views a specific product. Okay, we are on the home page and we are going to have a quick look at which products or rather which related products are shown when we have a look at the specific product. Now you will remember this um, website which is a development website which are, we are using for tutorials. You will recognize it from previous tutorials. Today we are going to have a look at Woo single number two again and what it looks like as a single product and as we know related products are shown we are going to have a look at which products are shown and how we can amend this currently if you look at the single product who single number two you will see that the related products are shown by default as who album number one who single number two and who album number three now they are shown as related products because they are either in the same category or have the same tags as the Woo single number two. Now, ordinarily, this will make sense as Woo single number two, you can see it is a record. Um, and these related products, Woo album one, Woo single one, Woo album three are also records. So most probably they are in the same category and therefore displayed as um, related products. But let's assume for a second um, that Wu single is a song, it's a seven single song that um, is about ninjas. Now the reason why I'm using this silly example is that the dummy products that we have uploaded from WooCommerce to the shop also include ninja products. So if we look at fan favorites, this section of the website, you will see they have ninja silhouette, happy ninja, woo ninja, and another ninja silhouette. Now, let's say this woo single number two is a song about ninjas. We would like to, as related products, select these to be displayed on the um, woo single number two page. So if we have a look at the back end, um, the WordPress admin panel, and we go to products. Let's click on all products um, and open Woo single number two, as this is the example that we are using Woo single number two. So we are going to open it by clicking on edit. I just quickly want us to have a look at linked products. This is where um, we are going to deal with related products. Now, as I've said earlier on, out of the box, WooCommerce select the category um, that, which in this case is music, and um, they use that category to select the related products from. Now, one, f when you click on link products, you can do upsells and cross sells. This is not exactly the same as related products, but um, you can see that there is no way 
that we can select um, related products ourselves as WooCommerce does it itself. Now, we need to add this functionality to our website where we can upload, or sorry, not upload, but where we can select exactly which related product should be shown um, in respect of this specific product. So we are going to have a look at um, the way in which we can do that and I'll be with you in a minute. Right, in order to start with this project we are back in the dash dashboard admin area again and we are going to upload a specific plugin um, that is going to assist us so we can navigate to plugins I've already installed the plugin that we're going to use and it's right at the top here and the title states it's custom related products for WooCommerce um, I assume that you already know how to upload plugins um, and you can upload the plugin simply by using that the title of this plugin to search um, for the relevant plugin. So I'm just going to activate it as it is already uploaded. Um, once it is activated, you will see that there are no um, settings bar which we need to enter to set up the plugin. Um, everything is done automatically. Now, in order to make use of this plugin, we need to go to the product section again. Go to all products. You will recall that we are going to work on Woo single number two and make all the related product ninja titles. So let's go to Woo single. Click on edit. Now this is a dashboard that we all know very well. Um, we have had to look at link products earlier on and we saw that it was only upsells and cross sells. But now we have a new tab here which states related products. Now I'm going to delete all of these related products. As I've stated earlier on, we would like to see the Ninja products to be related to the Woo single number two. So the only thing we need to do is to type in um, search for a product. We are, as you can see there, we are prompted to enter three or more characters. So let me just type in the word ninja. And now it is searching and we have a ninja silhouette. I'm going to type in ninja again. We have a woo ninja. I'm going to select woo ninja by clicking on it. And we are going to look for the third ninja product. Um, I think we are going to use Happy Ninja as it has not been. Or, or let's make it Patient Ninja. Now we have three selected three ninja products. The Ninja Silhouette, Patient Ninja and Woo Ninja. And that's all. Now we have selected the three related products. We are going to click on update to update the product and the single product page for Woo single number two. And once that has, has been done, we are going to refresh the front page. Go to the Woo single product number two, click on it and then have a look at the related products. Now we see that those singles has been removed and the albums has been removed and now we have three ninja items displayed as the related product. So this is a very straightforward and simple process and I'm sure that you will be able to set it up yourself within five minutes or less. Thanks for watching as always. We appreciate your company and take care. Bye bye.